Hello again. I've been getting a lot of comments on what could people use to replace their um, materials or like asset store or the Clip Studio modeler. And of course, Krita doesn't really have anything like that. So I'm gonna show you some alternatives. So the first one is Magic Poser. I've searched a bunch and this I feel like is the most intuitive. So I've tested it out myself and basically it's kind of like your run of the mill 3d poser and you can use it on your browser and it's completely free but there is also like a pro version and we'll get to that in a second so we can test it out here so you can see i've already made um a cool looking scene so i've posed this guy already and you can see how intuitive like the posing is it's only like um dragging the specific joints why i want to make this person put his arm on his waist i can do that just by doing this so it's really really like easy to get the hang of on other um options on other websites that do a similar thing um it's not as easy as this so i think this is the best one that you can get and besides that you can add other stuff like other characters so it's pretty limited on the like free version and you can also add geometry so there's some stairs a wall pyramid hexagons and a cube and i've used like a bunch of rectangles to kind of create this little scene you can control the lighting lighting from below could create some interesting effect then you can also change the view you can exaggerate the perspective so this looks like he's a giant but we can also make it a little smaller so this is kind of close to orthographic but not really so you can also change the hand so you need to click the model then click on the hand and there you have a bit of options on what kind of hand you want to do so yeah really really versatile for most of your needs on posing a really basic layout of what you have in mind this can like definitely help with the perspective in the pose so yeah really useful but you know, um, since this isn't really fully featured, we're also missing a bunch of features such as the prop store. So they also have free and paid props that you can put here on like on the 3D scene. And you can see here, like there's some motorcycle for this guy. So I can't really show that since I don't have like the pro or like full version. But yeah, for the most part, um, this is entirely free and you can like use it right now for your like posing need. If you want um, another alternative or somehow this doesn't appeal to you, there's also one on Steam, which is called Easy Post. And this one has lots of reviews and being actively maintained and updated. And here you can have a variety of props, materials, textures, and multiple people. So yeah, pretty neat. If you want like a bit more features, you can buy this for around 7 USD. And I guess you have a fair idea on how expensive this is going to be but this is also like a one-time payment and keep it forever kind of thing but i'm not totally sure on like the props if you need to pay for that or stuff like that but other than that it has lots of features really well recommended and reviewed if you're if this is lacking for you as well as the props here this is a good um, option for you so now we have posing but we don't have one for backgrounds and handling more complex environments. And this is where Sketchfab comes in. So here you have a bajillion models to choose from. And honestly, you just need to look for one that you can work with. So for example, if I was a comic artist and I have, say, a superhero that needs to jump off a building, then I can look for a city over here on Sketchfab then just look for one that suits like my particular need for example this is a good one it's really like fully textured so you can have your character or over here example looking down at the city or maybe somewhere that's looking up like spider-man and like swinging around the city and stuff like that so the possibilities are endless you can also change how you're viewing this so for example it's a bit hazy because of how it's being rendered but we can change how it looks by going over here you no know, post processing so it's a bit clearer you can also just look for the base color if you don't want any shading you can also choose from different maps over here if you want to see them other than that there's also like a bunch of other models really cool ones like this one for example this is a 3d scan of like an actual place in in tokyo 
and you can see like the amount of detail you have in the scene is so realistic and you can look from afar look from you know, near look up look down you can like pose a character over here then like photo manipulate it over here that's way you have a post character in this environment so you can mix these two workflows together then like screenshot that then draw on top of it so the possibilities are almost endless what if i wanted full control over the rendering the actual model the lighting and everything if you want something that you have full control over um there's no better way to solve that problem by just learning your own 3d program so i recommend blender since that's also free and you can actually use a lot of models from here and you just need to search for downloadable and turn these off and now these ones you can download and import inside blender all for free you just need to look for like their licensing so for example this one it says like uh, you can use it for non-commercial purposes you have to credit the artist so if you're just doing this for personal work for your portfolio then that's fine you can use this model and put it on blender those are like your main options so this is for like your basic posing basic block out and if you want more props more materials you can go over here then if you want complex environments you go over here and look for an environment that you like then if um, that's still not enough for you if you want full control over everything um, on your 3d world um, you just need to like learn blender or any other 3d program that you like so let me know if you if you still have like missing features from clip studio paint that, that's like stopping you from transitioning to Greta. please do let me know down in the comments and as always subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one bye bye